Hello guys, Jody from June Plum here, coming at you from my office. Um, just had a thought today to do a video to introduce, reintroduce myself. Not sure if I ever actually introduced myself. I didn't tell you a bit about June Plum. So my name's Jody, as I said. I'm the owner of June Plum. We started at Jamrock ten years ago, which has now evolved into June Plum. We are on Cambridge Street in Wellingborough. We're open Tuesday to Saturday from 11 till late. You know, Sundays are church and family day. We used to do roasts. Lots of used to last about them. But unfortunately, we stopped doing them. You know, we need to have time off to worship and to also have family time. So no more Sundays for us. Maybe a Tuesday roast in the future. Who knows? So as I mentioned, we started off in a trailer. It was called... Thanks Jamal. for the loan, Uncle John. As many of you can remember, back down at B&Q... Not... B &Q? Not B &Q. Home base we were at. So we'd train at home base during the week. And then at the weekends, we'd try and get events booked. Sort of local, you know, little festivals and fairs and things like that. And that's how we dipped our toe into events. So from the trailer, we moved into a smaller shop, uh, which is actually just next door now. We stayed, we stayed in the trailer for a year, stayed in that shop for a year. And now we've been in this one Big for up coming and up to 10 years, I think. So, yeah, all now in the business, we've been going about 12 years. Um, changing name Jamrock. Um, wanted to stand out a little bit and also a bit of financial hardship, but we won't go into that now. So here we are, 31 to 32 well, Cambridge Street. That is. And so here's a little bit about us. <clears throat> so I run the, the restaurant with my fabulous crew. There is Katie, Freddie, Laverne, Andre, Ben, Magda. Um, and so we all sort of do the food and service together and then we have some delivery drivers as well and not to forget brother jordan obviously mama joe used to be here with us who many of you know sadly we lost her in december but her spirit definitely still lives up so a little bit about me came over here 20 years ago for three months i don't know why i did this you know i thought i was being so transparent with you guys but i missed out my entire childhood born and raised in st mary jamaica well technically born in kingston grew up in jamaica went to america did culinary arts at university then came to england it should have been for an internship and through sort of divine infant intervention and timing the whole family ended up coming and staying also so 20 years later we're still here enjoying the weather i'm a chef by trade uh worked in hotels and pubs and things like that and then decided to go out on my own I've always wanted to be a chef for as long as I can remember. I even have a little embroidery thing that I did in prep school saying Jody's Kitchen. So it's definitely been in my blood. So I couldn't really find anywhere to get Jamaican food on my days off and wanted to create a place that was really welcoming, serve really nice fresh food and also looking after people's allergens and things. The thing I noticed with um, most of the ingredients that we're looking at, they all contained all this other stuff that didn't need to be in there. So before I started anything, started working on our sauce and seasonings range. So we make our jerk sauce, we make our hummingbird sauce that tops the jerk chicken. Uh, we make our all-purpose seasoning, our curry powder. Everything's made in-house so that we can cater for people with special dietary needs. So now we have um, a full dining restaurant. We've been making some changes um, to try and figure out what works best for us. And I think we've arrived there. So we're off of dining, we don't have as much front of house staff as we as we did before we have a qr scanner on the table code, so if you scan you that it'll take you to our online ordering system you can view our whole menu there drinks dessert specials it's all on there and then you can order on there or you can order at the bar then some of the crew will bring you food and drink out to the table as simple as that of course we still do our takeaway service as well where you can order on the same app or call us to order as well and you can come in house and pick it up or we can do curbside pickup where we can bring the food out to your car the newest addition to what we do is our delivery service which we've recently restarted since covid um, we kind of stopped it to focus on the restaurant again but the way people eat has changed so you know we have to go with what's popular um so we want to bring food to you so we cover a 10 mile radius so again you can head to our website and order on there or you can download our apps which i'll attach the links in uh the description so that regardless of how you want a june plum you can come and see us in the restaurant either for dining or takeaway or you can order for delivery and we'll happily bring the food to you the next part of what we do is catering um sort of a carry on from when we were in the trailer but we've expanded our offerings we can do sort of catering deliveries where we'll do catering size 
um, portions of the dishes that you'd like and you can either come and collect it or we can deliver it to you i'll attach a price list in an overlay get ready to screenshot we also do buffet setups where we can bring prepared hot food from the restaurant and set up at your venue at home wherever you'd like us to and then we can either stay and serve the food or we can leave you to it and then come and collect our equipment at a later date we also do sort of private dining setups at home where we come to your home or to your venue we cook on site we serve on go home the best one in my opinion because you know delicious food great service in the comfort of your home and then we go off and leave you with a clean kitchen we of course have a horse box that we can come and serve food out of as well perfect for weddings so that's the catering side of the business by all means get in touch if you have any parties anything coming up anything there's nothing too big or small we can get it done um you can either inquire through our website www.juneplum.net or give us a call on 01933-770-300. Just tell us what dishes you'd like. We can give you a price. Then we can rock up and make your party a breeze. Next part of June Plum is our sauces and seasonings. As I mentioned before, we make them all in-house. The initial idea was so that we'd be able to cater for dietary needs and preferences. So be it vegan, gluten-free, you know, we wanted to know what exactly what we're serving to people, develop the, sort of our core sauces and seasonings that we would use for most of our dishes, but they don't have the extra additives that don't need to be in there. So a few years in, we started bottling our sauces and started putting our seasons in pouches so we have our full range um but we have sort of seasonal additions that we make to it so we always have our hummingbird sauce jerk sauce all-purpose seasoning curry seasoning and our boom shakalaka seasoning which is sort of our core range that we always have because we always use them in house as the seasons go on we then add things like pumpkin pie we do our pickled jalapeno sometimes we do our pickled cucumbers sometimes our escovitch pickle as well it sometimes goes on there so it's just a matter of having a look at what would serve you best have a look at what we do uh, go over to shop.juneplum.net or again head to our website click on the link and it'll take you there where you can see all our products that we have available online and we also have them available in stores so if you come in to see us for a takeaway or to dine in you can definitely pick yourself up some bottles or some sachets or even do a pre-order for pumpkin pie etc etc so like i mentioned we at june plum we like to set ourselves apart so as well as doing in traditional jamaican food like curry goat super rich and decadent uh, or spicy and smoky jerk chicken smothered in our hummingbird sauce we also like to incorporate different cultures in i've sort of always enjoyed the fusing together of foods dishes like our jerk ramen that um, is on the special sometimes or lunchtime burritos which are always a hit kind of a jamaican and a mexican fusion yeah. we also do roti pizzas where we make homemade rotis so we top it with scorched scotch bonnet hummus that's a mouthful pineapple chutney your choice of topping and then finish it with micro herbs and some hummingbird sauce really really good dish so i say all that to say our menu is ever changing with new interesting and delicious dishes just to serve you guys as well as possible we want to always keep our offerings fresh so that you can have something new to enjoy if you fancy trying something new when you come which you should Look out for our curry short crust pies as well coming up for the autumn winter season which we'll do we make a nice buttery curry short crust pastry then we stuff turkey and leek filling we call it jerky turkey leaky pie um brisket and guinness which is kind of like a jamaica steak and ale pie so it's you know we'll have different fillings we'll have vegan offerings as well so just have a look out for the upcoming special guys we look forward to seeing you soon you'll come in and see us or we'll see you out and about on deliveries um and in catering events as well we always look forward to connecting with you for all the updates promotions offense all of that stuff be sure to follow us on all the socials we're on all of them um and then we also have a blog through our website juneplum.net where we put all of our upcoming events and things like that on there so thank you so much for watching um i hope you understand a bit more about juneplum and myself and the team uh and our offerings Thank you so much for all your support to all our OG customers. And we look forward to serving new customers. Make no mistake, you guys are why we do it. So thank you so much for keeping us going. And uh, yeah, see you soon.